Okay, we're uh, very excited to get the season underway. It's a lot of anticipation for the upcoming season, all during the off season. You know, talking about the conference affiliation change and and uh, you know just a lot of a lot of attention on our football team because of that. But uh, bottom line, now we're ready to go. The season's here, and uh, we got a very very good Montana State team coming in here. Nine and three last year. Um, you know, beat the. Uh, you know, Eastern Washington, who was the champion of, of uh, FCS. And so uh, we, they've got all our attention. They've got all our respect. Uh, got an outstanding quarterback. Uh, was named the preseason um, FCS division or uh, FCS player of the year, offensive player of the year. And so we, uh, you know, we've been watching the tapes, obviously. Our players, uh, you know, they're, they're very smart guys, and they understand that what they see on tape is a, a talented, well-coached football team. And so uh, by no means are we looking anywhere uh, but towards Montana State on Thursday evening. Um, you know, the team has been working hard. Fall camp went well. Offense was a little bit, uh, I don't want to say sluggish, but uh, not as clean as it needed to be for throughout the first half or two-thirds of fall camp. And then we, we seemed to get over the hump there right around that two-thirds of the way through point of fall camp and things started to smooth out. Um, had our best practice on uh, Saturday uh, offensively of the entire fall camp or in the in-season mode, and that was a, it was a very uh, good practice, and we had a, a uh, situation where we looked like we're supposed to look on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively, which was a good thing to see. Um, other than that, you know, we're excited about the uh, the year. You know, a lot of a lot of things going on, and we're we're uh, just ready to get it kicked off and start playing and, and uh, see where we stand. So, questions. Are you comfortable with where your offensive line is now? I know it's been a point that you've talked about day in and day out through fall camp. Are you comfortable enough to, to go into an opener with where they are right now? Well, we sure would have liked to have had more opportunity to get some continuity uh, in the offensive line. You know, it, seemed, it seemed like every day it was a different lineup. You know, we were shuffling guys in and out. One guy would uh, get dinged up. Another guy would get better and we'd just keep rotating them through there. And that <clears throat> the offensive line and the secondary are the two most critical aspects of your football team for those guys to work together as a position group. And so that is the big concern, is the, the lack of continuity that uh, you know the, the, that we were not able to get during the course of fall camp and, and the last uh, seven days. But you know we're, we're getting guys healthy. Uh, we just have to develop that continuity as the season goes. I mean, we're out of time now, obviously, for, for uh, getting that done in practice. And so the positive is that most all the guys are healthy. And uh, we're gonna, you know, have enough uh, able bodies to to uh, put a formidable offensive line out there. So, what other other questions about your offense do you have that you'd like to get answered Thursday? Well, I would say just overall how how we handle the new scheme. You know, it's uh, uh, you know it's Norm Chow came in here for a reason way back in January, and that was to implement a new offensive system, a pro style attack. And like I said, it's been looking. Uh, sharper and sharper in practice but we got to get that you know in, in a live situation against another opponent and and see how it looks I mean that's that's probably the second uh, second biggest concern is is that and just making sure that that uh, what we've been seeing in practice can translate into a game situation coach can you address the running back situation who will start how many guys are going to see action right the running backs um, virtually all new you know Downey Vacapuna had a few carries last year but other than that uh, John White is going to be the starter. He'll get the bulk of the carries. Um, he's the guy that has performed the best throughout fall camp and throughout the last seven days. He's uh, a guy that relies on speed and quickness. He's got great change of direction, uh, a scat back type of a, a player. He's you know 5'8", 5'9", about 185, 190 pounds, so a little bit different style of back than the other three. The other three are big backs. Downey, Harvey Longy, and Threaten are all 225 plus and more uh, you know, physical between the tackles type of runners, but uh, you're certainly going to see uh, uh, Downey Vacapuna in the game as well, getting carries, and then you'll see some Harvey and, and Threaten as well. And depending on how the game unfolds, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go. But but right now we have no uh, plans to redshirt Harvey. I know that's been talked about a little bit. You know, Threaten doesn't have a redshirt year, so that's a moot point. Uh, and Downey and and uh, John are one and two, so we plan on using all of them. And uh, you know, as the season wears on. You know, you got to have a couple featured backs. As I've said many times, there's not enough carries to to get all, you know, three or four of them in the flow of the game. You got to have a couple of your lead guys, and then create some special situations for the other backs. But 
but uh, we're high on all of them, and, and we'll see how things unfold during the course of the season. A lot of you know things can transpire that that uh, you're not planning on, and so we'll see see how it shakes out. But we feel good about all four of those guys.